This place was once a funeral parlor, wasn't it? Yeah, biggest one in four counties. A funeral parlor? Way out here? Well, sure, it's nice and cozy, right next to the old cemetery. And rumor has it old man Hull really loved his clientele. I mean, in the carnal sense. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I once saw a portrait of Mrs. Hull. I've heard stories about this place ever since I was a kid. The Hall family met a pretty gruesome end, didn't they? They sure did. As a matter of fact, it was on Halloween night. One of them went crazy and slaughtered the entire family, then committed suicide. They could never figure out who did it. Too much blood and guts. <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna party here. Hello! Welcome to just another horror podcast. I'm John. I'm Ben. Cobra. And we're still... we're just doing anniversary stuff. It's not really a month, right? Because... There's a lot more movies than we can fit into a month. Yeah, anniversary until we want to stop. Yeah, we're just going to keep doing this forever. Uh, this is That's Night of the... Me. Yeah, all right. We get to choose our own. And... Yeah. This is Night of the Demons. came out in 1988. So this would be the 30th anniversary, right? Yep. That's good math right there. Thank you. Uh, keep that math up for two more yeah. Two more movies coming up. Just here. remember that number, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Did you talk to the director of this or something no, at some I, point? No, I, I... So he listened I, to some back episodes of ours and was like... I, I am them. I'm not... But he never got back to Not contacting this thing before. Who is the director? Kevin Tanny. So what exactly did you say to him? Well, you wrote something to him. Yeah, I just was like, hey... We do a podcast. Yeah, we do know. interviews or anything like that. We're going to be reviewing Night of the Demons. Yada yada. You know he's going to get back to you, like, tomorrow. <laughs> sure, I'd love to come on. Oh, fuck. I doubt it. What'd you think of the intro to this movie? With the ghosts and the... Yeah. So the old man at the beginning of this movie and the end of this movie, mm-hmm. I would be down for, like, just a short of that. That guy was awesome. He had you go through, like, this whole range of emotions where you actually feel sorry for the guy. For a second. Then you get a nice young person coming up to help him and he's like ah, get out of here you skank bitch and then you see razor blades and apples and you're like oh he's a prick the whole time but he gets to come up at the end it's pretty cool but I wanted to see that movie where he's trying to like kill kids with razor uh-huh. blades didn't uh Trick or Treat Trick or Treat did that that's right no, that's what it reminded me of I don't think it was razor blades that was it was like no but it was Fed that kid like just that angry. Oh, you're talking poison, about the, yeah, the principal, the fat kid with candy. Yeah. Uh, after the uh, ghostly <laughs> opening credits, mm-hmm. I don't know if I saw the ghostly opening credits. I watched it on YouTube. So oh, you didn't see that? There's just like little cutout ghosts and goblins They're flying, flying around. <laughs> no, I think they were up later. That must have tried to save some time. <laughs> Check that out. Stooge is driving. Huh? He's got a pig nose on. Yeah, I'm getting a immediately. I'm getting a Return of the Living Dead vibe here. Then it feel in like this, that, like jumped out car and everyone. They got a party to go to. Actually, I got a lot of at least three different movie vibes into this movie. I can't remember what we all came up with. Um, demons, a little demons, bit. Demons, demons, yep. And you said Evil Dead. Evil Dead. They do some of yep. that through the house camera shot too, where it's like yep around corridors and and rules such as if you die, I guess you come back yep. as a zombie, <laughs> demon, <laughs> demon, whatever. Zombie demon. I call this MTV horror. And you don't right. even have to die, but it's better than MTV horror because it's there's well, it's TNA, better than MTV. It's better than MTV the horror language. Today. It's a good art though. That's what makes a difference for movies today too. Well, Lene is about to bend over here, so. First, Judy talks to Jay, and we get the setup. They're going to Hall House. house. Mm. We get to see Judy in a see-through bra. And her little brother jumps out, and he's like, Hey, hey boobs. your boobs are huge. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta have someone tie your shoes for you. <laughs> I got on here, this little brother spent a little too much time staring at her sister's <laughs> That's it, That's weird. Now, if Judy brought a friend over, he was yeah, looking at her weird. boobs, that's way fine. I think, right? I really want to see a movie that you make. <laughs> I mean... It would be... I know I'd enjoy it. <laughs> it would be incredible. <laughs> so Sal shows up and tries to take Judy 
to a dance, I think, and then it turns out that she's not going to a dance, she's going to all else. So this is another one of There's the There's some uh, banter between Sal and Billy. I assume mm-hmm. his name's Billy, I don't know what it is. Is, is it? Mm-hmm. All little brothers and yeah. the eighties are Billy. <laughs> um, this is also another where your first impression of Sal is just like you're a date rapist, go home. <laughs> but you dropped the load. Later in the movie, surprise, 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 he's not the date rapist. Yeah, <laughs> he rarely comes over and he says, "I brought my pet snake for your sister to play with." <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty. Funny. I kind of like him. And then we shoot. Then we pan right to Linnea's ass and yep. died. Yeah, that's pretty. Funny. The one dude behind the counter looks like Rob Lowe, <laughs> and he's just like staring. They're both just like she's, blatantly staring. She's uh, running interference for. Yeah, him. Angela's. Getting snacks for the party tonight at Hull House. This is where I got a little bit frustrated because what Angela... What would you do if... I'm sorry. What would you do if you just saw somebody like blatantly just stealing in a store? Would you say anything? You I would. I haven't. You would. It would depend if I was watching like, this girl. And I was, you know, 19 working there and I was making minimum wage. And... It's a good trade-off in my opinion. Yeah. It's like the bartering system. <laughs> I get to stare on ass <laughs> yeah. and can take some goods. Yeah. But my problem here is that it... It, we watch Angela take every single item <laughs> off the shelf, one at a time. It just goes on too long. And this uh, this convenience store is also it's pretty packed. Yeah, yeah there's people there's everywhere. Lots of people. Are they all watching Linnea's ass too, or trying? Because I felt like they were all just kind of standing in place. Yeah. Nobody looked like they were actually they're shopping. Either, they're either stealing or looking at Linnea. All of them. <laughs> the cashiers just have no fucking inkling. And then we get the, the one liner on the way out. Do you guys have any sour balls? I bet you don't get too many blowjobs. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. We Dude. see we see Billy again. Yeah, Judy. Is he staring at a he's staring at a titty bag while he's talking to his mom? Is that supposed <laughs> to be the joke? Or a comic, I don't know. Uh, it looked like it looked like there were women on the I at hope least the was. back advertisement part. I the back like of the magazine. Mom was but, pretty oblivious. So yeah. Funny. Yeah. And Jay shows up and is... He looks like... What's that? Miami Vice? They wore that stupid, like, white suit. Oh, the Don Johnson look. Don Johnson now look. Now this is 88, so uh, Miami Vice is well on its uh, run, I believe. <laughs> hey, that's what he was going for. And uh, Judy's mom offers him fudge logs. <laughs> they look like... She's like, no. Whatever they look no, like. Good shit. <laughs> they look like fudge logs. <laughs> Some kind of turd. <laughs> and we go back to... Roger, Helen, the chick, and, and, Stooge. and Stooge in the car. And this is kind of funny. <laughs> Roger's like, whoever drew this map up is half blind and half retarded. Yeah. <laughs> and it was Angela who gave him a map the whole house. Mm-hmm. Somebody yells, shut up and drive, bitch. I was like, Stooge. Geez, to that girl. Yeah, so I thought they might be a couple because he's just like <laughs> treating this girl like a <laughs> dick. He's so rude, but he's kind of funny. He looks really familiar. I didn't look up to see if He'd been anything else, but he looked really familiar. Honestly, I think he's probably my favorite character in this movie. He reminds me he of that one nasty him. boy. The yeah, maybe that's what it was. And the blonde nasty boy. Brian. <laughs> is it Brian Nobbs? Yeah, I think it is. God. I'm embarrassed that That's pretty that. good. What's the other one's name? I don't know. <laughs> How do you know one nasty boy and not the other? <laughs> Why does it always come back to re- horror movies and wrestling go hand in hand somehow? Yeah, but when you combine the two of them, they're not usually good, except for they live. Other than that, <laughs> what is that? Uh, Satan Slay or something like that? Santa oh, Slay. Santa Slay. Okay. With Bill Goldberg. Yeah. That was something. <laughs> Dude, their car, the, breaks, their down. car breaks down. And who's coming up? Who comes up? Jay and. Yeah. Judy and they give Max, with Max and Franny are in the back. Yeah, and they give him the old uh, need a hand joke. <laughs> it's real funny. And they clap. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Do you know who Franny is? You know, we've this is our second encounter I've with Franny. Her. I know I've seen her, but I don't know where. Which one's Franny? The Asian. The Asian. Uh, what other movie? Sleepaway Camp Three. Oh, she was okay. one of the convict kids, or Did was she the right? one that um? Nice rack. Code. The code. She might have been the code. Yeah, I thought so. These people don't seem to be friends. So who invited these Angela. This specific group of people? I feel like like two or three of them are friends, but they're not friends with everybody else. Like there's groups. They're of all groups. Here. Yeah, they're yeah. like three different groups of friends coming together, and they don't. They know each other, but they don't. 
Really? And nobody invited Sal, he just went. So. Well, who's that? I'll say the nerd who knows every historical detail about everything. But then, like I his name was Max. Max. He doesn't play a role at the end, though. Like, you think that his knowledge will come in handy, but no. God, and it's so <laughs> clunky when they fucking do it, too. And they're like, oh, yes, and it was horrific. I'm like, who wrote and then this? Then it's describing, like, the water mm-hmm. ways blocking the demons or whatever. How oh, fucking this does Actually, I laughed because they were like, ah, oh, this uh, wall was built right over the river. And they're fucking great engineering, guys. Way to go. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just have this is the worst party ever. I don't know. I mean, the I idea. Mean, the music is, is playing. So is this an old funeral part? Okay, that's, yeah, because they get down, they see the crematorium, which I'm assuming this actually was filmed like in an old funeral parlor because you actually see like a crude, like the furnace in the basement. It looks pretty legit. Like I don't know. Yeah. So this house is this like a house that the entire town knows about that people can just go to whenever they feel like it's just like. There, yeah, but nobody go. goes to. I think. Okay, <laughs> so they don't tear it down; they just leave it out there. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Because this guy murdered his family or whatever. Mm-hmm. So let's get this party started. Seance time. Well, they yeah, find they play movie. one song and the batteries die. Count Dingleberry and the Flaming Asshole. Is that the name of the band? Jay's gonna sneak in the coffin, but then he gets mad because Sal pops out at him. Oh, and that yeah, one kid, Max, he's like, "Oh, it's Count." What I just said. Dingleberry and the. Flaming asshole. Flaming asshole or something. <laughs> Roll back the tape. <laughs> they find a mirror? They need a mirror to do the this uh, seance where you can see past your lives. past live. Mm-hmm. So I do like the shot when the mirror falls and breaks, and then the camera's... T- it's all pieces of the mirror. I mean, obviously, place. Like, it didn't, didn't break like this in real life, but uh, I thought that was actually like a decent shot. Also, like a weird demon thing pops in the yeah. before it falls okay. over. And only dragon. Yeah, it looks like a Chinese <laughs> New Year dragon or something. Yeah. And only one of them sees it? The goth girl? No, she didn't see it. It was Helen. And then she starts wigging the fuck out. Mm. And Roger's oh, like, that's My right. daddy was a preacher. I need to get out of here. <laughs> While Stooge is like, saying he can't get by the zit on someone's face. And yeah, Angela's <laughs> got that zit on her face, yeah. Festering fuckwad. What does that say? Your notes are amazing. <laughs> His notes oh, are really that's John. You should be used to this. It goes from like the flaming asshole to festering fuckwad to. <laughs> you, like, break break down down there's something word. in the mirror. That you write down one word and it's it. out. <laughs> festering fuckwad. Yeah, how do you, you can't do take that? that bitch anywhere. <laughs> I'd like to, like, give his notes to, like, a couple actors and be like, act this out. <laughs> okay, so now the demon gets loose in the basement. After, I think, yeah, she, the demon gets loose in the basement, comes up, and it's, like, circling between everybody and goes into Linnea, Linnea who tells Roger and Helen that if they want to leave, get the fuck out. Gives them Angela's car keys and tells them to leave. So yeah. they go out to leave, but... Uh, the gate is gone. And we also get the difference, we get a spiel about the difference between a demon and a ghost. Don't care. <laughs> no, don't the care. Goth, don't care. The goth girl knows. Yeah. You don't care? Why not? We've heard this before, haven't we? Mm-hmm. Probably in every ghost and demon story. Yeah. Oh, well, in case you, this is your first time listening to the show, a uh, ghost is different from a demon because a demon means, like, harm or something and can physically attack people. They're, yeah, they're, like, pure evil. Yeah. Whereas a ghost just opens cabinet doors and acts like an asshole. Yeah. Can a ghost turn into a demon? No. Oh, it was something like a ghost is like a human that died and it's looking for something, but a demon was never of this earth. It's looking for its car keys for all eternity. <laughs> That's right. He needs to get the fuck out of there. Okay, so I'm not I'm not sure. I know that Lena Quigley is possessed, and that's when she asks... Uh, stooge to accompany her to the bathroom. Yeah, I think she, this she, she part everyone's to... breaking off into sex <laughs> groups. <laughs> she tries to go for somebody else first, right? Or somebody hits on her first, and she... Sal does. Uh, yeah, and she kind of... She's, she's like, like, I want br- pork tonight. And, yeah, brush them. and he's completely on top. He's, he's totally with it. He's like, he starts snorting like a pig <laughs> and shit. It's great. Wouldn't you? Yeah, he's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm getting fucked. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Meanwhile, outside, Roger starts hearing shit and goes and hides in the car, and Helen has disappeared. Eat a bull of fuck. <laughs> that already happened. So, uh, Roger locks himself in the car. 
I hear Max keep, I have Max keep spouting off more history. He's probably talking about that goddamn river that flows under this house. <laughs> the exposition of the background of the Indians that live there and stuff. Is that when he was talking about all that stuff? I don't know. Was, there were two significant parts where he just, That has to be uh, it. Right when they're looking for the gate, they, yeah. and that Max guy's just spewing about Native Americans and the underground water system. I don't know, it's slow up to this point, this movie. It kind of stays slow for quite a while. Well, the build-up is long. Yeah, but then like when you actually see like somebody turn, um, it starts to pick up the pace a little bit. But um, Suzanne locks herself in a room... We have the rape and sex pressure. Sex pressure starts up here. Oh yeah, Jay, who we thought Jay. was going to be like a clean cut guy, turns yeah. out that he's like sort of a rapist. <laughs> yeah, not sort of. I'm a full on rapist. <laughs> he's like, I heard you went out with Sal and you had sex with him, and she's like, just because I went out with him didn't mean I have sex with him. And he's like, what? He's I wasted like, you my did, time. Didn't you? And she's like, that's none of your business. Yeah, and he's like, Phew, I'm leaving. He locks her in a room. <laughs> That's a rapist. Mm. Yeah. He's like, I'll, I'll be back to get what I want later. <laughs> we call that the Weinstein. So then instead, he just moves on to Suzanne, but first Stooge is killed, right? Before Jay. Yeah. Because, yeah. Because uh, Jay actually does sleep with mm -hmm. Linnea. And then she turns on him. And Stooge also at some point, season. Helen falls out of the sky on top of the car for no reason. Breaks That's way later. Okay. Sal, well, Angela starts doing these pelvic thrusts in the air to this. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, Suzanne kisses Angela and gives her the demon. To Bohas, the music, or something. It's spelled like this. Robin told me. B A U H A U S. But it's a foreign, so. Ben? Yeah. <laughs> It's Our like, foreign it's language like expert, the, Ben? It's probably like the poor man's Rammstein or whatever. I had four years of German, but I don't remember any of it. It's got to be something over there in that region. Bohas. Bohas. Strobe lights. Angela. Uh, that was... That did in. not... If you're watching on YouTube, did not um, go over well. <laughs> like, it really <laughs> fucked with the uh, screen. <laughs> zaps my brain every time I watch something like that. Now, Stooge is dancing with Angela, and he kisses her, and that's... Angela's the one that kills Stooge, not yep. Susie Q. Well, Sal just watches Angela and then he's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. And then so. he finds Linnea. Yeah. He's like, you're too fucking weird for me. She's yeah. got like lipstick all over her face. She's drawn all over herself. Oh, but there's yeah. a cool shot with the, uh... Which puts what the, the fuck was that? Well, it's a pair of fake tits. I read them. But why? <laughs> I don't know. The lipstick will come in later because in the second one... They find that lipstick too. Oh my god! And that the girl carries over to the, the girl puts oh it on, god. and she becomes possessed by the demon. <laughs> I think it's in two or three. Did That's they plan on that? Is that why they did they, that? I don't know but because it didn't make any sense. That's some heavy <laughs> stretching. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it's not even. Well, I like that they were. Uh, I like that they were thinking about canon during the first, uh, like, for future. Did like, they never the see? I'm gonna have to let you guys watch too. It's it's a pretty good. But did they never see Sleepaway Camp? Or why were they gonna go with Angela? I don't know. Just uh, that's why when we played that horror horror trivia game, it got very fucking confusing. <laughs> okay, so Anaya puts a tube of lipstick right through her titty. This that looks is good. When Jay finds her and decides you're naked, I'll fuck you. I guess that'll okay. work. And then Max and Franny are looking for. They're gonna fuck in a coffin. Some place to fuck, yeah. yeah. Someone's hands are coffin on fire. Coffin seems uncomfortable. Oh, Angela puts her hands in the fire. Oh, yeah, and they're burning in Sal's yeah. season. He's like, oh my god, I gotta get so out of here. Sal runs away. And, His name's uh, Sal Romero. I'm gonna guess that it was a little over the George. Could be. I think you're onto something, Ben. Well, research expert here. What? You look like you wanna say something. <laughs> well, you got your you, finger pointing, yeah. You look like that comedian right now. He was on Just Shoot Me as, like, a cart boy. He's real tall and bird-like, but he's got, like, a red beard, glasses. He's kind of bald. So that's you. You're bird-like. I don't think it was on that show. I was thinking uh, you were going for David Cross, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why wouldn't you just reference Scary Movie 2? Yeah, like one no. of our favorite. <laughs> I'll show you the guy I'm talking about here after this. Mm, this is where we see the oven. There's the cream... 
crematorium in the basement. Uh, I have that it's basically just showed you one more time. Look, it's an old funeral home. Yeah. Um, oh shit, I lost track. Oh, I also have uh, the, who are who are the two in the basement? The near the ovens, the furnace. Is that Max and no? I don't know. They use a gas line in a way that. Gas lines don't work this way. Oh, Judy and Roger. <laughs> yeah, it's a flamethrower. I'm not gonna complain about a flamethrower, even if it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Roger's uh, in the car, and then the body hits. That's when Helen falls out of the sky for no reason. What happened to Helen? <laughs> she, well, Roger and her were like somewhere, and mm. she was complaining about the gate and left him. They were trying to get up over the wall. Yeah, Roger f- fell on the one side. Were they trying to pull themselves up on barbed wire or something? I don't know. You're you're at the later scene. Mm. The earlier scene is they're looking for the gate and she leaves him and he can't find her and he gets scared. And then we cut back to the house and the next time we cut back to Roger, he's in the car and Helen's body comes flying down. Yeah, like the top. Helen just fell from somewhere. The demon threw her, which is really weird. Like these demons have super strong power, but at the end when they they can't seem to get Judy's foot. That's an inch out of their reach. They don't have any powers whatsoever. They're just like... Ah! Isn't there something about they can't cross the, the stream or the river? Yeah, but... Can they have, like, <laughs> grab her foot? It's yeah. Maybe they got too close to it. That could be. Lost power. Uh, okay, so uh, Jay's eyes get gouged out by... Linnea. It's a good yeah. scene. We've got Bush. One Where of the clips go? that I have permanently saved on the computer. <laughs> Great. We watch more Bush than I thought we might. <laughs> That karate movie I showed you. There's a scene where this woman is asleep in a barrel of water. And, uh, t- like, 25 ninjas show up, so she just gets out of the water and starts fighting full frontal. And kicks the shit out of all of them. With Arabias? Yeah. <laughs> just flying around. What, uh, what karate movie is this? I did a commentary yesterday with a guy on this movie called Ninja the Final Duel. Whoa, you got a commentary gig? Yeah, I, it's great because I don't have to edit it, so <laughs> I'll take as many of those as I can get. Final duel. Yeah, uh, I showed him a clip where they're talking, and all of a sudden, Ghostbusters starts to play in the background, and then it just cuts, and it's and the music's over. Hmm. They just stole music from like Rambo three and Ghostbusters <laughs> throughout. There's also flying spiders that they ride on. To attack their enemy. All right. Yep. <laughs> they look real. <laughs> that did. Then we cut to uh, Max and Franny, and we cut right to boobs. Oh, Franny's man. boobs. They look nice. Yeah. They got to be fake, right? Because like they looked fake. It, little Asian girls probably don't have D-sized boobs. Oh. They bleed. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm leaving it. What? He's right. I was like, those are. Those are very large for an Asian woman. Yeah, that's not... Yeah, we're stereotyping. That's a little fuck, But <laughs> not too far out Do of you that. disagree, Asian women who listen to the show? Write in. Let us know. Wink, I wink. Any women who listen to the show. <laughs> <laughs> so Stooge comes in and uh, kills Franny and then slams the thing on uh, Max's arm until it comes off. And it breaks off, huh? Mm. I guess. I mean, later we, we see, see it. Yeah, we, we see have rather seen it. We see Max without an arm later, so that's about it. We assume that's what happened. Mm-hmm. All right, so Roger and Sal are kind of running around together. They find uh, Judy. Judy, yeah. And Locker, or do whatever. And the three of them find uh, Suzanne with uh, dead Jay. Right? Or am I ahead of myself here? Mm-hmm. There's just a lot of running around and like and this is where Angela's really in the house and yeah. Stooge is in the house. We go from room to room to room with like just the demons popping out, chasing them. Mm-hmm. And you know, nothing really happens here for a while. I think eventually Sal falls and impales himself. Yeah, he's fighting Angela. He tries to save the day and he mm-hmm. dies. And so we are outside of the house, but we go back into the house where Roger and uh, Judy go downstairs to the crematorium, and that's when they start using the flamethrower on people. Well, I was jumping ahead. I stopped taking notes. It's, it's hard to take notes on when well, yeah, in just, the house, in the hallway. You get in a lot of, like, 20-second scenes, and it's just cut, 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 cut. Some of the demons have one-liners. Sometimes they just kind of stand there and growl. 
I'm pretty sure they're using the same dubbing for every demon. <laughs> well, this is where you really start when you reference it. It's got a very, um, the movie Demons and, like, the teeth and the mouth mm-hmm. uh, when they... Oh, work. they don't show you the transformation. <laughs> like, no. they're demons, which this, makes... This doesn't have that budget. No. <laughs> they spend it all on Linnea's fake boobs so she can st- stick lipstick in That's it. right. Yeah. All right, so Judy catches uh, Angela and I think Stooge on fire with the flamethrower. While yes, Roger sure. does a lot of nothing here. <laughs> He's really... He actually saves Judy, though, because she falls right on top of him. Once it's over. While they're being chased or But I, until then, like, she's asking for help, and he's just sitting there. My dad's a preacher. My dad taught me how to pray real hard. <laughs> so uh, they eventually make their way outside to the wall. Sal's got a tombstone. Oh, yeah, he said... Dead uh, today. Dead or, today, yeah. <laughs> or died today. They lingered on it, so in case, you know... You needed some time to read the whole thing. And, that, and Judy's like, the demons, they come out, and they can't be stopped because it's Halloween, right, Roger? And Roger's like, I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> sure. My daddy was a preacher, so, <laughs> yes. So, yeah, they make their way to the wall, and they start to climb over the wall, and everybody in the house is a demon now. Everyone. Except for these two. Except for these two. And did you see the Jay now, his... Makeup for his eyes was gone. He just looked like a normal. He's yeah. just staring. Yeah. No makeup on him. I'm like, my his eyes were gouged out. Why is he staring? He's like, I'm not putting that back on today. <laughs> I'm not doing it. So uh, Roger has no problem getting over the wall, but uh, Judy's having a tough time. But the demons. Hey, hmm. that's sexist. Why? I was gonna say it's racist because the black man was more athletic and got over the wall, but that's fine. We can go sexist instead. <laughs> It's both. They did everything wrong. Here. Yeah, the the black man climbed the wall while the weak woman couldn't get over the wall. There, I got everything in there. Yep. I think you covered it all. <laughs> so they're reaching for her and she's right there, but for whatever reason. Yeah, they can't they just can't get there. Well, and Roger falls over. And then you who the Judy? Is that who? She's just going to give up. Yeah, you think she's going to give up, and somehow Roger supermans it back up on the other side of this wall to the top again. Gets her hand, or a finger. And no uh, no reason. Just had to happen, I guess. So they It's kind of like that when a mother, the car falls uh, on that baby. The adrenaline? Super strong. I thought the adrenaline would have made Roger run to a church or something. <laughs> so uh, they look back over the wall, and there's like that Chinese demon again. And there's smoke. Mm-hmm. And then poof, it's gone. Daylight came up. Mm-hmm. It's no longer Halloween or whatever, huh? Yep, so they just walk home and then... Uh, they pass the old guy. Yep. Who, uh, his wife made a pie, I'm guessing out of the apples that he Yeah, had. an apple pie. Yep. Because uh, she says, he kind of like, I don't want any of that. She said, you, you liked my, you usually like my fresh apple pie. And he's like, fresh apples. She's like, well, there were so many apples left over from last night. And then his throat just starts... Razor blades start popping out of his throat. It's fucking nuts. Did, was she trying to kill him? Because yeah. she looked like yeah. She, she kind of tapped him on, him on the, the shoulder. Or something. Or something. Like, like, oh, honey, happy Halloween, you old fuck. And there's no way that you could not know that you were chewing on a razor. There's no way right? you could swallow a yeah, razor yeah. blade without knowing it was in your mouth. And you're you're st- you're getting the pie with the fork. Yeah, it's not you. Is that metal? I don't think so. All right, that's it. Uh, we'll go to Ben first. Uh, you always go to Ben first. Yeah. We'll go to John first. John? All right. Uh, I gave this a... Uh, I'm going to give it a half score here. I gave it a six and a half. Uh, <laughs> it was all right. Uh, I think sometimes I'm really in the mood for movies like this. A uh, good example would be Night of the Creeps, where it's just, just chaos better. and... Yeah, something yeah, they didn't ab- have any character like Tom Atkins though. No. Really. Yeah, something about this was just kind of bland. Uh, I li- it's meant to have fun. It's not trying to take itself serious, but I don't know. It's lacking something. I can't really put my finger on it. A great main character. Yeah, uh, Rogers useless. Who do we follow? Judy's useless. No. Like I said, Sal Angela should've... becomes yeah. like the yeah, main. Yeah, you- you think so? afterwards, but in this one, there's no... There's no main villain. Runner. There's no main uh, protagonist. There's nothing. There's, um... I'm not saying it's bad, because I gave it a six and a half, but it's not... I was like, defend that. Oh, you're gonna... Oh, jeez, I can't wait for Ben's score, then. 
Um, I like the murder. Uh, so murder murder was in this movie. I like the the, uh, the eye gouging is pretty good. The makeup effects are actually pretty good. Uh, I like the soundtrack. I like eighties weird, I guess punkish music. Very awesome. Mm-hmm. But I just meh. there's a lot of movies like this. This just kind of falls in the middle. So all right, Ben, go ahead. Uh, I just went with a half score. I gave it a four and a half. I, it's just, it really reminded me of that slime ball bowl of rama movie where it's just... Oh, wow. I don't that's think a, it was that bad. bad. It's just that type of movie. Like, it's... Uh, I understand it's not taking itself seriously, but... Fui. Uh, yeah, TNA Factor bumps it up a, a bit of score. Uh, like John said, there was some good um, practical effects, like the, the eye gouging uh, looked good. Uh, I have here, and I didn't realize I rhymed it until just now. Leanna's, f- Le- <laughs> Linnea's fake tits lipstick tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, looks good. Uh, yeah, I think it was just um, I didn't know what it wanted to be. Uh, we can tell because you're getting a bit of Return of the Living Dead, Evil Dead, uh, demons, and I think they were just taking just bits and just trying to. Mash them together. I think this into guy a was just like a horror fan, and he's like, yeah. "I want to make a horror movie," so he just did what he was familiar with. Uh, the acting he did is Witchboard also. Yeah, he did the Witchboard movies. Oh man, <laughs> that's the only thing he's really known for. Um, and he went hard into those like sequels and everything. I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but uh, I, the acting was atrocious. Uh, like I said, I thought the best part and the one I wanted to see was just the old guy at the beginning and end story. I'd like to. I would have rather seen that movie. But, um, I don't know, some of these late 80s horror just aren't for me. It's not, not, not at all my favorite. I would never go back and probably rewatch it. Sorry, Cobra. I'm gonna give it a 7. Um, I rewatch it. It's good. It's 80s, it's got that feel to it, but there are a lot of things wrong with it. Like, there is no protagonist. We have no one to follow in this movie at all, so that, it's tough. Right there, but we do get boobs, we get bush, we get some good effects kills. I like the soundtrack and the music for it. Uh, it's just a fun little 80s movie, I think, and I would recommend this movie. It's it's a Halloween movie, so I'd recommend it towards Halloween. This is a movie you play at a party, I think. Just have it on. You gotta have the right group of friends, though. <laughs> I mean, like, you can't just throw this on for... Well, it's not a movie you want to sit down and watch. What I'm saying is, it's yeah, on in like the back and out of the room. Shit. Yeah. yeah, you walk in, you see like a death scene. You're like, wow, that's pretty cool. What see is Bush, this? You and say, whoa, yeah. What's that? You could say the same thing about a Friday the Thirteenth. Well, you could. Yeah, that's true. Well, I said, watch those. Though. <laughs> I know, but there's no plot to those either. I couldn't get through three with those glasses. Oh no! I got to where Chuck turned the fuse box on, and my head was like, stop. It's so oh, hard. Shit, you went that far. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I told him I was jealous because I was watching um, Night of the Demon, Night of the Demons on uh, Friday the Thirteenth, and not a Friday the Thirteenth <laughs> movie. I got to watch part six and seven. They were on Paramount. Yeah, seven was on, and what sucks about seven being on is seven is already cut to fuck, and then they put it on cable TV and they cut <laughs> it even more to fuck. I um, we have a uh, Roku, and they just one day there's something called um. Oh shit, I can't remember what it's not. Something TV just showed up, like an app. And uh, so I saw these free stations, and there's a couple free horror stations, so I was pretty happy to see them. Yeah, of course, they, for some reason, have a hard on to play uh, Chucky and Leprechaun movies yeah. all the time. They just repeat those for a while. That's not good. I think it's one of those ones where they play the same movies for probably a week at a time or something. I thought of a sci fi movie. I think we should do that one week. Come up with as many horror sci-fi movies as we can. Actual sci-fi station movies? Like, movies that they would have on there. Like, I was thinking today, like, just to play on words, like, Cyclone of the Werewolves. Oh, yeah. That would be, like, this weird hurricane where they sucked up all these werewolves. werewolves and just dropped them all over. Yeah, the like, sci-fi would play that when they have movies like Sand Shark, where sharks literally go through the sand. Yeah. Uh, if you want to get a hold of Oh, us. shit, I didn't know we were still on. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook.com backslash horrorcasting. Horrorcastings at gmail.com. We're on Twitter at horrorcasting. Uh, old shows are on YouTube. We are on Podbean. So rate and review the show. We're also on iTunes. Thrill me.